Okay, so let's talk quickly about SoftChalk Cloud and how you can create a lesson using SoftChalk Create. So I'm in my content folder here and I can see all of my classes with lots of different content that I have available. And so if I wanna just start from scratch, I can just go right over here where it says Actions and click Create Lesson in SoftChalk Create. And what happens is if you have a good update of Java on your computer, you'll say open with and click OK and then it'll download the little file that you need. And then Java, if you have it updated, will allow for you to use the program. Now the problem is that a lot of times computers don't always have an updated version of Java and you can't use it. So uh, here let me give it uh, access. And so that might be the problem that you might run into. But generally, if your computer's up to date, it'll work just fine. So here's my SoftChalk Cloud. Get rid of this little reminder. And now here is the program. So it's just a blank canvas. And what you're going to be able to do is go in and add any content that you want. So let's go get some content from the internet. How about we start with maybe some text about commas. Let's do a lesson on commas. So here I found a website on the comma. I'm just gonna copy some of this content here. And you wanna be careful that you're not just stealing content off the internet. You wanna make sure that it is either uh, OER materials or it could be material that you write yourself. Uh, so what I like to do is choose content and it's formatted already for me, but I can go ahead and then add extra formatting if I wanna put a heading on this and so forth. Okay, so I have the, uh, have the content there. And then I'm gonna go back over and grab a video. So it's always nice to add a video, how to use commas correctly. So let's hit the share button. And then we're gonna grab the embed code. Okay, so oh, we wanna make sure we make this the right size video. Yeah, that's a good, good size. All right, so I'm gonna grab the code there and go back to Soft, uh, SoftChalk Cloud. Let's put the video down here. So what I wanna do is go in and say insert, and instead of going right for um, media, which is my, what you might think it is, I'm gonna pick widget, because we're gonna add a widget. So this is a YouTube video. I should probably put the title of the video, but I'm gonna go ahead and paste that code right in there, and then say okay. All right, so now I have some text, and I have a video. And of course, I want to quickly add uh, some quiz poppers. So let's go ahead and say I want to add a true-false question. And true-false question could be anything you want it to be. I'm just going to say, did you watch the video? And the answer should be true. And we say OK. So now we have a quiz popper. And uh, oops, let's modify that and make it an image. Let's go back to feedback, options. All right, I wanted to say quiz me. All right, and it's worth one point. All right, so lots of different things you can do in there. So just briefly there, you can see that I created a SoftChalk Cloud lesson. So I'm gonna go ahead and open view. We're gonna save it first. Let's open it up in Firefox. And let's watch that open. All right, so there's my lesson. There is the text that I pasted in. There's the video that would just play right within. There's my quiz popper that already is popped out. Student can answer, check their answers, get a score, and so forth. It's pretty easy. Now you can also pretty this up and do a bunch of other wonderful stuff too, but you can learn how to do that if you adopt SoftChalk Cloud.